And here is the hook blade knife method of removing tires in case anybody's interested. It's not even really that warm today, probably 75 degrees, maybe 80. This tire's only been sitting out here in the sun for a few minutes. And this is a really, really old tire. This bike has been sitting since the 80s. This is off a of XT500. These things get so dried out, these are a real bugger to get off the rim. Unless you do it this way, but this also applies to any tire. It doesn't have to be an old 80s tire. I've already pulled the valve stem out, I have not broken the bead. Try and do this with tire irons or even a. I got a Harbor Freight tire machine, which is quite a joke. And these things are about impossible. They don't have any stretch left to them. nut all the way off. That's the hook blade knife. Just get those at Home Depot. Stay back a little bit, buddy. Don't do the knife. Marcus. Yeah, even the inner tube dried out on this one. Everything gets so dry and stiff on these 30, 40 year old tires. Well, I suppose I should mention that you might not want to do the hook blade knife method if you want to if you want to reuse your rim. Excuse me, reuse your rim. Of course, you want to reuse your rim if you want to reuse your inner tube. certainly cut the inner tube on that one. Managed to do it a lot of times without cutting the inner tubes. Uh, and 
I usually put new inner tubes in when I do my tires. The bead bands all dried out as well. We're doing a tire that's not this old. It's going to be that rim is it? That's as bad as they get. Yeah, I suppose it's possible to get worse, but that's realistically about as bad as they get. couple minutes but that's how it's done with the hook blade knife. Oh it helps somebody out. <laughs> 